Rukmini keeps eye on Dancing Dragon at sea. New Delhi, with China increasing its naval presence in the Indian Ocean region amid the ongoing Sikkim standoff, the Indian Navy is keeping an eye on the Dragon with the help of its eye in the sky, Chsat 7 the Navy's own dedicated military satellite that was launched on September 29, 2013. The 2,625 kg satellite, named Rukmini, has helped the Navy monitor the Indian Ocean region, IOR, as it has a nearly 2,000 nautical mile footprint. The multiband communication cum surveillance satellite, which is operating from the geostationary orbit, at 36,000 km altitude, provides real-time inputs to naval warships, submarines, and maritime aircraft and networking capabilities to its naval assets on the high seas. With the help of the shore-based operational centers, Rukmini, also called insat 4 f has not only helped the Navy keep an eye on both Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal but also helped the force increase its communication and surveillance capabilities from Persian Gulf to Malacca Strait which together is equivalent to almost 70% of the IOR. Rukmini, which provides wide range of service spectrum from low bitrate voice to high bitrate data communication, has given the Navy an integrated platform and helped it overcome the limitation of line of sight, the straight path of signal when unobstructed by the horizon. With the help of this eye in the sky, the Army, too, gets vital inputs about over the land movements. Due to the absence of the advanced GSLV rocket with carrying capacity of 4-ton class satellite in 2013, Indian Space Research Organization IRO, had to use the commercial services of Ariane Space in French Guyana Cura, to launch Ars-185 Croarge Sat-7. The satellite, which operates in UHF, S, C and Ku bands, has an advanced helix antenna, an IRO source said. The satellite, which has a payload power of 2000W, has a mission life of 9 years. Before JSAT-7 was launched, the Navy, for warship communication, had to depend on Inmarsat, a major provider of global mobile satellite communication services. The DESI satellite has reduced the Navy's dependence on foreign services for warship communication. A second satellite of this kind, JSAT-7A, meant exclusively for the IAF, is currently being developed. This satellite is due to be launched by year-end, the source said. JSAT-7A will enable the Air Force interlink different ground radar stations, ground air base and airborne early warning and control, AWACS, aircraft such as Bereve 50 Falcon and DRDOAEWNCS. The satellite will also enhance network-centric warfare capabilities of the IAF and, therefore, enhance its global operations.